he whoa. Hello, hello. All right. We just finished eating lunch. Just did like easy potato soup filling, uh, easy, cheap. And uh, now outside, it's actually kind of shaped up to be a nice day. And um, I thought I'd go over my goals uh, for the homestead this year. So I actually started trying to make goals back in January when people traditionally make goals, but I feel like that's just a time where it's still the middle of winter. I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't feeling a lot of anything, honestly. And now that stuff is starting to warm up. It's kind of like springtime. Now I really feel like it's a good time to dive into these. So without further ado, let me just tell you what they are. Uh, not listed on this list is cooking from scratch, which I talked about. Yes. As I was saying, um, not listed on here is one of the goals that I had already started and I've been doing pretty good with, which is cooking from scratch. I've been working on cooking from scratch because our goal is to grow our own food. And I've been watching a lot of homestead channels, which do a really good job of showing what they eat. It's just like simple home cooked food, nothing fancy, not Pinterest y at all. Just like get it on the table and eat, but it's good. And so I feel like I've done a really good job with that. And I'm actually going to be posting up some videos. I have been videoing loosely, um, some food that I've been making, not because it's spectacular, but just to pass it on to other people because I've learned so much watching these people share their everyday, just normal food situation. All right. So here we go. Number one, outdoor kitchen. I wonder if I can um, splice in a picture. I have a, a picture that's like my inspiration for what I want. It's just kind of like an outdoor cook space where you can cook over, over a fire. Like if you had a really fancy campsite, I guess. Um, I have been getting cast iron. I have, I have cast iron stuff now. I just need to kind of put everything together and actually attempt to cook outside. Um, I feel like this will be a grand adventure. I've never baked bread outside. I haven't cooked anything over a fire ever so besides a marshmallow so this is going to be it's going to be a thing so second one expand gardens we've already done that so i can slightly put a check mark on that i guess we plowed up some area in the back expanded the regular kitchen garden and then put another area up in the dog fenced in area um, but i need to make sure to plant it out so we're going to be doing a lot of potatoes and corn and stuff like that. And I also think I'm going to do my trailing squashes over in one of them. Number three, compost. Well, I guess it'd be number four since there's an invisible one there. Next, compost. Um, We need compost. A lot of compost. It is, I see people online talking all the time about compost and they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to grow all my own food. Um, Really all you need is just collect up, you know, your eggshells and stuff. And, and you can make your own compost. Guys, if you have never made your own compost, it is, you need so much mass to make a decent amount of compost. Like for our gardens, if you're gonna like throw a bunch of compost on them, you need truckloads of compost. You're not gonna get that from saving your eggshells. That's not a thing. So what we did do is we got um, trailer full and a truck bed full of mulch, which I used on other things and then dumped a bunch of it, another trailer full, I dumped in the chicken coop. I was hoping they'd help compost it up, but they're pretty lazy, so they didn't. So um, the other part to this is we just put our dump trailer in over at our neighbor's house because I'm going to be um, shoveling all the horse manure into that trailer and bringing it over here. And I'll show you. Uh, so, this is what was left over after I put all the mulch in the chicken coop. And you can see, I mean, it's not a huge pile by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm also gonna put some dump truck, not dump truck, trailer, trailer fulls of, of manure and maybe some more mulch. And this is the stuff we get for free. So you can see there's a bunch of rocks in it and stuff, but I don't care, whatever. So we're working on our compost system. The main thing is we need it to be big. Next up is water barrels. Um, wanting to be as self-sufficient as possible, you need food, but you need water, some sort of water system. It does rain here a lot. Um, I think we could get away with 
some water barrels. I know some people are gonna laugh at that. There are also, there are, there's water around here if we ever needed it. That'd be more in a like situation where we couldn't get water from our, you know, water faucets and stuff like that. We would figure it out, but I do want to move towards watering the garden out of well, rainwater that we collect. So water barrels, I'd love to get one of those huge tanks, but I don't, I don't think that's in the budget right now. I'm going to skip that one and go down to hay storage. So when I say hay, I mostly mean just like grass clippings and stuff we collect up here. This is what we've been using for chicken bedding because we used to buy bedding and then we bought hay and then I was like, I am not spending money for stuff for these chickens to poop in. So we've been just collecting up um, grass clippings and just dead grass. I just came out here the other day with the kids and we just raked up a bunch and just been using that and we've been storing it in trash barrels. Um, trash cans but that's not what I want I wish I had like a dedicated area I don't know if it'd be like a shed or you know people used to put it like up in the top of a barn but I don't have a barn we have one but not for hay so I need to figure that out plant perennials I need more perennial plants um we have some I'll show you right here this tree that just grew this is a, a walnut tree thanks a lot for just growing I like that and we have apple trees and we have um, peach trees. They don't do that great. Um, we need to work on that too. Um, but also I just started some asparagus seed. Of course you can't really harvest the, you're not gonna start getting a bumper crop of asparagus for like three years or something, but the years are gonna pass anyway. So I'm gonna do that. And then we need to up our strawberry game. I just wanna get berries. We have some blackberries planted. I wanna propagate some more. We have a black raspberry bush that was randomly growing that I want to try to propagate and, and plant somewhere a little more cultured. And uh, yeah. Habitat friendly. I don't know why I keep saying things like this, but yeah. It's not just about us because I thought about that and was like, you know, I don't just want just like lines of stuff everywhere. I, I want it to be nature friendly, habitat friendly, um, which involves um, doing native plants. So we have, we do have some native plants and I let milkweed grow wherever it wants, but I also have some seeds started outside for some native plants and I'll be planting those. I just want to kind of, just kind of weave it into everything, make sure that there's room for all the, you know, animals and especially I really like caterpillars and bugs and things like that. So make sure I have all that definitely going to be planting lots of flowers in with everything. Oh, and replacing grass with clover. I can't do that back here everywhere. My husband really likes grass, but um, up in the dog pen area, I'm going to be replacing a lot of the grass with um, clover and different plants in there and see how it goes. All right, so last but definitely not least, preserve more. A very big goal is to just preserve a lot more. I want to, I have a deep pantry in our basement and a lot of it is store-bought and I just want to replace, as we use it, I want to replace it with home-made, homegrown stuff. So I, I need to be preserving canning. Uh, this is the first year I did pressure canning and so I'll be doing more of that and just really working on preserving everything. And there are some challenges online like on YouTube that I've seen of like do something every day for a month and I'm going to try to get on that. It can be hard, but just trying to really focus on preserving all the stuff that we grow so we have it and we can become self-sustainable. That would be great. So I guess that's it for right now, just a short-ish uh, goals video so I can look back and reference and make sure that I actually achieve these goals. Wouldn't that be great? So let me know what your goals are and if you've already done some of them. And otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. You know what's so great is that my husband has these deer camera set up all over the place. So he's going to see a bunch of pictures of me like with a selfie stick. Like, here, let's go here. Say cheese. So ridiculous.